Hello, Akuma fans. This is Charlie with the Gossiker Application Staff with another tip for you for the Akuma OSP P300M control. The question has come across my desk on how to restart a program at a sequence name that is duplicated with it throughout the program. This particular customer's post processor utilizes a sequence name that matches the tool number. So if you're utilizing tool five in this instance, more than one time, you'll have multiple N5s within the program. And we wanna start from the second instance. So there are two different methods that can be utilized in order to make this happen. I'm sure we've all noticed at this point that if you utilize the number search button, it has no problem finding the first occurrence of that. But no matter how many times you repeat that process, it never gets past the first selection. So the method for getting around this, you can utilize the restart function. And if you key in your block name, your sequence name, and under repeat number, pick the number of occurrence that you're looking for. Obviously default would be the first occurrence, but in our case, we want the second occurrence of the same N5. Then by clicking okay, the machine will look until it finds the first one, blow by it until it finds the second occurrence of N5. This works great if your program is short, but as you can see, we have a lengthy program here. We're running in B method, which means we could probably sit here for five minutes or so while the computer is searching for that particular block number. If you don't mind waiting, that's the best method. However, there is a second alternative if you don't want to wait around for it. I'm going to start this program, let it start running, and you'll notice this block right here on the control is indexing, even though the sequence number is the same. This is the block execution number. It's telling me how many blocks the machine has digested as it's going through. If we know the, the, the block counter number for where we want to start, our life becomes very easy. I'm going to reset the program now. And through previous, um, previous experimentation, I know the block number where I want to start is 57,450. So now if I utilize my number search, but instead of looking for N5, I'm going to look for 57,450 as my uh, number of block. When I click OK, the machine takes far less time to digest through the program. And now we're on the second occurrence of N5. And if I were not in emergency stop, I could then just hit cycle start and take off from there. Keep in mind, modal information is not saved unless I'm utilizing the restart function. So I need to make sure that I, the sequence where I'm starting has a tool call, the work offset call, and of course, spindle on and tool length offset below it. Other than that, this is the easiest method to do. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local application staff. We're always here to help you.